Behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. The Morning Insiders wanted to share some good news this morning happening during this fight against the coronavirus. Lauren Victory found one man doing double the work to bring happiness to others. During the desolate days of quarantine, neglected parts of our city seem even more beat up. Omar Alfaro knew he needed to mix it up, and suddenly... By God's sake, this guy called me. Alfaro's vacant Tri-Taylor building used to look like this. All graffitied up, didn't look good. I've been in the neighborhood for 19 years now, and to see something this colorful and positive in this neighborhood, I haven't really seen anything like this. Myron Laban is the painter behind this positivity. This is going to say you deserve to be happy. So when people drive past it, you know, maybe they're having a bad day, they'll look at this mural and they'll say, oh, man, maybe I do deserve to be happy. You can catch the same message in Bucktown and a similar theme in Logan Square. The murals are part of his uplift campaign to reach people with mental health needs. These are just small reminders to people that, you know, I, I know things are hard, but it's going to be okay. These days, it's Laban who needs the reminder. I thought he was just an artist trying to make it, but he's already a accomplished man. It is stressful. It's a stressful job. He's a pharmacist, too, dispensing meds and advice to the sick, including people fighting COVID-19. People are kind of scared. You just got to keep waking up in the morning and and doing, doing your part. A chance to think about the brighter days ahead and the lasting message he'll eventually leave behind. Lauren Victory, CBS2 News. I love that story. The pharmacist says painting takes his mind off work. He mails flyers with information about mental health resources to anyone interested in passing them out.